Turn up your sound and die with us down the rabbit hole. Hello. Good afternoon. Evening. Hello. Khaleesi and I are going to go search the internet to see what we can find. Goofing around. It says it's sending data. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Hope everyone's having a good day. We're trying out the green screen. So, it's fun times. Let's go ahead and we'll get to the internet. So. Hello. <laughs> yup. Hello. What do you want to look up today? Well. What do you think we should look up? <laughs> well, this is supposed to be educational. So, I don't know. Do you... Let's, uh, let's just go at it. I think we were looking up... We were looking up different kinds of bugs last time. Bugs? Bugs, mm -hmm. bugs, bugs, bugs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Bugs. What kind of bugs? There's different, lots of different kinds of bugs. Let's type in variety. Variety bugs. Variety of bugs. It says that's going through. I don't know why that one's going through. Oh well. So. We not only work out our body, but our mind here. So we're going to figure out different types of bugs uh, today. That's what we're going to learn about. Mm -hmm. So, what, what are the most common type of insects? There's beetles, there's butterflies, there's moths, there's ants, there's bees, there's wasps, there's true flies. The top five most common species of insects. Hmm. Interesting. There's 500,000 uh, species of beetles. Ooh. Wow. Did any, anybody know that one? And we have hundred more than 160,000 species of butterflies and moths. Ooh. And we have ants, bees, and wasp 140,000, true flies 120,000, bugs, hemiptera, hem, 99, 90,000, 90, yeah, 90,000, good, you knew that one, so, that's how many different types there are. What is the most, what is a common insect? In the popular sense, insects usually refers to familiar pests or disease carriers such as bedbugs, houseflies, clothes, moths, Japanese beetles, aphids, mosquitoes, fleas, houseflies, hornets, or conspicuous groups such as butterflies, moths, and beetles. My parents got the bed bugs. Yeah, we didn't need to let everybody know. I brought them in whenever I, uh, was seeing patients so that's just something that happened okay so what are the two types of insects insects presents all over the world and classified into two main groups they are wingless m ter what is your favorite bug Khaleesi my favorite bug is a butterfly 
Butterfly? Mm hmm Oh. So her favorite bug is butterflies. Yeah. I don't know why everyone kills them because they're, they're just animals. They don't hurt you. Yeah. First, insects have a nervous system that resembles ours in many ways. That is, they see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. Many of our pains arise from pressure, shock, heat, and other stimuli administered at high levels. And insects most assuredly respond to these bodily sensations. How many species, how many, do you know how many species of butterfly there are? I forgot. Let's see. How many species of butterflies, butterfly. butterfly are there? There's 20,000 species. Oh, that's a, those um, are all the kinds of butterflies. About 725 species occurred in North America, north of Mexico, with about 575,000 of these occurring regularly in the lower 48 states of the United States, and with about 275 species occurring regularly in Canada. So I'm guessing most of them are like in Asia or South America or Africa. Well, I saw one come over in Texas. You saw a bug in Texas? Over here at our house in our backyard early, earlier. Earlier? In a no. different day. On a different day? Mm -hmm. Let's look at some pictures of butterflies. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I like that one. That is pretty neat. It looks like some eyes, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Has little yeah. eyes. Gran your granny would like that one, wouldn't you? Oh my goodness, that one. That your, one's. Your cool. papa says that's his favorite right there. The monarch butterfly. Mm hmm. There's another one of those right there, too. Yeah. There's a variety of butterflies. Ooh, I like those. Mm hmm. Ooh, those are pretty. They are pretty. Ooh, I like that one. That is pretty neat. Wonder if that one's real. That one's crazy looking, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, there's another one. I like That's that. pretty neat. Yeah. Is there's it? a bunch, bunch of different butterflies I like. Ooh, that one's cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, look down. I want to see what that one is. What that one is. Oh my goodness. Butterfly in a box. We're supposed to plant some seeds, but it's been raining. Uh -huh. We have some seeds that would help the Ooh, butterflies. Oh, there's a bunch of butterflies. We should look up what kind of plants butterflies like, shouldn't we? Uh -huh. See if we can get some. What kind of plants do butterflies like? Okay. Plants that attract butterflies. For caterpillars, consider plants like violets, milkweed, asters. Learn more about milkweed, the only the only host plant for monarchs. Ooh. So if we wanted to maybe to get Papa around so he could see some more butterflies, we could get some milkweed, right? Mm -hmm. That way he could uh that way it'd have the babies here, the caterpillars. Mm -hmm. That way we can see what the caterpillars do. Mm. Your papa says that some butterfly like old fruit. They do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't have any old fruit because you're around here and you eat all my fruit, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Because I like fruit. Just yeah. because I like fruit. Mm -hmm. I eat it all. I Last time I ate all the grapes, <laughs> they were gone by the time I ate them all. For butterflies, Joe Pie weed, iron weed, yellow... Coneflowers, goldenrod, and brightly hued asters are nectar filled favorites. Ooh. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. The farmer's almanac. Ooh, I like that flower. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. So, butterflies and flowers are made for each other, and there are certain flowers that butterflies absolutely love to be around. As the French poet once pointed out, butterflies are flying flowers, and flowers are tethered butterflies. Here are some of the best plants that attract butterflies. In attracting butterflies to your garden, it is important to understand what they want most, what they want most out of life, and that's nectar. 
The ancients who believed that nectar fell directly from heaven named it after the wines of the gods. Okay, and then keeping your garden friendly. If you want to keep butterflies in your yard and support these declining pollinators, it's essential to include host plants where they can lay their eggs. Some butterfly species are fussier than others as to what they as to what plants are best. Once the larvae hatch, the host plants will serve as food for developing caterpillars. To encourage butterflies to reside in your garden, it's best to include food sources in a form of host plants for caterpillars and nectar plants for butterflies. A butterfly's wish list also includes sunny, open spaces, shelter from the wind, and fresh water. We need all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So sunny, open spaces, shelter from the wind, and fresh water. It's also crucial to opt for m using native plant varieties in your garden as these will be the most beneficial to the butterflies and caterpillars in your area. Consult your local garden center or cooperative uh, extension service for more information on native plants. I saw one of the, like I told you, I saw one of the butterflies come fly past me and I tried it and it almost flied on my head and got on my head and it almost stayed there and I was about to call mommy. Oh, it and says, a, come see. this is a monarch caterpillar right here. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's it's feasting on milkweed. Mm -hmm. For caterpillars, consider plants like violets, milkweed, asters. Learn more about milkweed, the only host plant from monarchs. I think we should get some milkweed, don't you? Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, so we can see what that caterpillar. Mm-hmm. Did you know monarch caterpillars only eat milkweed? In fact, monarch butterfly is also known as the milkweed butterfly. For butterflies, joe pie weed, iron weed, yellow corn flowers, goldenrod, and brightly hued asters are nectar filled favorites. See our full butterfly plant list below. There's all kinds aromic aster, bee balm, black cherry, blue wild indigo. Oh, I like blue, I like cherry. It doesn't give me a picture. Blue wild indigo, blueberry bushes, button bush, butterfly bush, catnip. What is butterfly bush? Butterfly bush? Oh, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Shrub, full sun, soil type, any. Ph varies. Summer blooms in the summer and the fall. It's pink, purple, red, white, yellow. Ooh! It is pretty. I, I would like the purple and the pink one and the yellow one. What other color is that? Red and white. Ooh, I would like red also and white. You like them all, huh? Yeah. I really, I like a colorful one. It's known as an invasive species here though, in the United States. Mm -hmm. Some of them like to go. Once there was like this, it was like that over. It, I don't know. Despite the name butterfly, butterfly name, keep in mind that the shrub is not a host plant for butterflies in that it does not support butterfly reproduction and life cycle. So. It doesn't support the full life cycle of the butterfly. Which track go? There's catmint, clove pink, cornflower. Which cat? Check out clove, clove pink. Are there, someone's asking, are there poisonous butterflies? Are there poisonous butterflies? I've never heard of such a Let's thing. Let's see if there is poisonous butterflies. Let's look that up. Are Poison. there poisonous butterflies? Here we go. What you looking at? You gotta keep your head up. That way people can see you on the screen. Yeah, you gotta sit up. Your papa's watching. I know he wants to see you. He probably misses you. <laughs> there are also butterflies like monarch and potvine that eat poisonous plants when they're caterpillars and grow up to become poisonous butterflies. 
While the predatory birds known to eat them, they are of no danger to the human beings as they, they do not have the parts that can cause the sting. So, I guess they're poisonous to eat for birds. Can a butterfly kill you? No butterflies are so poisonous that they can kill people or large animals, but there is an African moth whose caterpillar's fluids are very poisonous. The, the Negua or Ka caterpillars and trails have been used by Bushmen to uh, poison the tips of arrows. That's an interesting fact. So there's no poisonous butterflies, but there are moths that are poisonous and they've been used as weapons. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What is the most dangerous butterfly? Miss Carol, in my opinion, and a lot of other folks, the Papilio antimachus, the African giant swallowtail of Africa, is the most toxic butterfly, therefore the most dangerous. They are also one of the world's largest butterflies with a wingspan of uh, 9.1 inches. Ooh, the, uh, um, I'm going to look that up. The African giant swallowtail. There we go. It's a big butterfly. Its wingspan is nine inches. Whoa. Let's look at more of them. Giant blue swallowtail butterfly. That's pretty, isn't it? I mm -hmm. like that. Me too. Or, or we can see um, these two. Yeah, they're pretty. Oh yeah, or this one. What? I like that one too. Queen Alexandria's birdwing. Oh, that is neat. Yeah, look at that one. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Here, they got the life cycle of a butterfly. They were showing up. I thought. Yeah. It's... Here, why don't we? Life cycle of a butterfly. There we go. So they start off as an egg and they go to a caterpillar. Then they go to their little thing. Then they turn into a butterfly. What is this? Do you know what that is right there? No. It's called a cocoon. Cocoon. Yeah. I think this one looks like it. Uh, here they Poopa, start. Poopa. They start with water mm -hmm. on their thing mm -hmm. of eggs. Well, that's then, the egg. That's the egg. Then that's a young caterpillar. That says caterpillar. This is called a pupa. I'm guessing pupa. Pupa. I never heard it. I've always heard it called a cocoon. I never heard it called a pupa before. Pupa. And Not poo poo, a uh, poopa. <laughs> poopa, and then a cocoon. Well, this is all. It says all poopa. I don't. Poopa. Poop. Let's see if we can get a better, a bigger image here. Poopa and poopa and poopa. And what is that one? That's the emerging butterfly. And then it comes straight out, emerging mm -hmm. butterfly. So it eats it? Yep. Because that's what they first come out. Mm-hmm. And they look like... Chrysalis. That's another name for it. Chrysalis. Mm -hmm. Isn't that neat? Okay. What else should we look up about butterflies? Huh. We yeah. should look up. You know, you know what I have an idea for. We should look up what are what are rainbow kind of butterflies. <laughs> rainbow, you want that? Okay, we'll spend it. We'll look up rainbow butterfly and then. Rain. Ooh, I like that one. These all look. They're just paintings, baby. There's not really a rainbow butterfly. I don't think. That one is. 
Oh, that one there. That one's a real one. Here, let's look up. I really like that one. They it's are nice. very pretty. They are very pretty, but they're not. I, I think they're just a graphic someone made, sweetheart. So why don't we? Someone's saying type in artistic butterflies. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, there's various artistic. Ugh, I don't like that one. It's just like a watercolor. Here, let's look how long. Have butterflies how, live. What is the length? Of a butterfly, butterfly life cycle. The four stages of a butterfly life cycle. What? Are you getting bored? Mm hmm. Oh, we're in. You only, we got eight more minutes. Don't be bored, or otherwise I'm not going to let you be on the podcast anymore. You wanted to be on it. Me I know. I'm trying to enlarge this. Okay. The butterfly and moth develop through a process called metamorphosis. Can you say that? Metamorphosis. Yep. Yeah, your papa says it's great to learn about the creatures around you. Mm -hmm. It really is. So the term metamorphosis is a Greek word that means transformation or change in shape. Insects have two common types of metamorphosis. Grasshoppers, crickets, and dragonflies and cockroaches have incomplete metamorphosis, the young, called a nymph, usually look like small adults but without wings. And then butterflies, moths, beetles, flies, and bees have complete metamorphosis. The young are called larva. Say larva. Larva. And is different from the adults, but it also usually eats different food type, different types of food. There are four stages in the metamorphosis of butterflies, uh, moth, and moths. They have the can you spell that word for me? What word is that? A -g -egg. Egg. 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 What's that word? Lar. Larva. Larva. Poopa. Poopa. And adult. And adult. Where do you think that stage is? Right there. Uh, what's that word? Is that an egg? Egg. 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 Eggs are laid egg, on plants egg, by egg, the adult egg. female butterfly. These plants will then become the food for the hatchling caterpillars. Eggs can be laid from spring, summer, or fall. This depends on the species of butterfly. Females lay a lot of eggs at once so that the so that at least some of them survive. Butterfly eggs can be very small. Okay, now we're going to the next stage. What is that? A caterpillar. Yeah, so that's a caterpillar. Caterpillar right here. And that's the feeding stage. So the next stage is is the larva is this is also called a caterpillar if the insect is a butterfly or a moth the job of the caterpillar is to eat and eat and eat as the caterpillar grows it, it splits its skin and sheds it about four or five times food eaten at this time is stored and used later as an adult you know this part right here where it says eat and eat and eat that reminds me of you <laughs> you eat you just want to eat everything yeah I just want to eat our food up. Oh. And then caterpillars can grow 100 times their size during this stage. Wow. Wow. 
A hundred times? I was not impressed in that. I was like, what about me? I don't grow a hundred times yeah. a day. Thank a hundred times their size. And thank goodness you don't. Because you came out like seven pounds. So that would mean you'd be like 700 pounds. <laughs> For example, a monarch butterfly egg is the size of a pinhead. And the caterpillar that hatches from that tiny egg isn't much bigger. But it will grow up to two inches long in several weeks. Ooh. That's the pupa, also called a cocoon. When the caterpillar is full and grown and stops eating, it becomes a pupa. The pupa of butterflies is called the chrysalis. Well, I guess also a chrysalis. It has all kinds of names. Depending on the species, the pupa may be suspended under a branch, hidden in leaves, or buried underground. The pupa of many moths is protected inside a, a cocoon of silk. This stage can last from a few weeks or a month or even longer. Some species have a pupil stage that lasts for two years. Wow. Can you imagine just being in hibernation for two years? It may look like nothing is going on, but big changes are happening inside. Spe special cells that weren't present in the larva are now growing rapidly. They will become the legs, wings, and eyes, and other parts of the adult butterfly. Many of the original larva cells will provide energy for these growing adult cells. And now we're at the final stage, the adult stage, the reproductive stage. The adult stage is what most people think of when they think of butterflies. They look diff very different from the larva. The caterpillar has a few tiny eyes, stubby legs, and very short antenna. The adults have long legs, long antenna, and compound eyes. They can also fly by using their large and colorful wings. The one thing they can't do is grow. So that once they're a butterfly, they don't grow anymore. The caterpillar's job was to eat. The adult's job is to mate and lay eggs. Some species of adult butterflies get energy by feeding on nectar from flowers, but many species don't feed at all, really. Flying comes in handy. The adult female can easily fly from place to place to find the right plant for its eggs. This is important because caterpillars can't travel far. Most adult butterflies live only one or two weeks, but some species hibernate during the winter and may live several months. Interesting. Okay. We finished that one. Yeah, we learned a lot about butterflies, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's see. On this day in history, we got to go through our history lesson. What happened today in history? April 4th. There we go. Oh, wow. What? Well, today is apparently, the, I didn't realize today was the day April Martin Luther King was assassinated. It's a good person to look up. He was 39 years old. Very important man in American history. What's... What? He helped bring equality for a lot of people. He passed away. Mm hmm. A long time ago. He passed away in 1968. That was before Daddy was born. Like 18 years. Well, a lot of people were born before him. Definitely look into that more. Okay. Well, I think we got one important fact for the day on this day in history. And any news? Or, let's see, news of the day. We're just doing a few quick things. We'll call it a day in international development. Oh. There's none of those. Hmm. Well, you're looking tired. Can you get enough sleep? Mm -hmm. Apparently, there are 730 street, eight streets in the United States named after Martin Luther King. Did not know that. That's an interesting fact. Yep. 
Okie dokie. Well, here, let's go to the end of it. So, I hope everybody enjoyed watching. I hope, hope y'all enjoyed your day. Yeah, here. And whatnot. Sit up. There we go. Bye. <laughs> Get your hand down. Okay, everybody, y'all have a good day. God bless y'all. Take care. Thank you for Bye. watching.